Hi students, welcome to my class. Dear students, in the last classes we are discussing that uh, midpoint theorem and converse of midpoint theorems. Is it right? So today we are going to discuss the related exercise that is 7.2 we have to discuss today. See, the first question ABCD is a quadrilateral in which P, Q, R and S are the midpoints of the sides AB, BC, CD and DA respectively. AC is a diagonal show that SR is parallel to AC and SR is equal to half of the AC and PQ is equal to SR and third point PQRS is a parallel. These three points we want to show you. So we know that uh, uh, what is the midpoint theorem? We already proved that. So one second we have to recall it. See in any triangle, in any triangle, the any two sides of the midpoint that is called as ABC in the any one of the triangle in that any two sides of the midpoint joining the midpoints of any two sides of the triangle this side is parallel to the third side that is DE is parallel to BC that is the theorem midpoint theorem so Carlos put a hand that when the two any one of the sides is parallel parallel to each other and one side of the midpoint of the one side of the triangle he is joining to the third side the third side is bisect to the each other that means ae is equal to ec when the when the uh, in any triangle the joining between the any one midpoint of the sides of the triangle is parallel to the third side and then uh, the third side is the another side is bisect each other that is ae is equal to ec this is the converse of mpt mpt see in that theorem, we have to use this theorem, we have to solve that questions. See, first of all, I will draw the diagram. See, in that, uh, see, A, B, C, D is a, this is A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral in which uh, in which AB is AB, BC, CD are the respective are the midpoints of P is the midpoint of AB and Q is the midpoint of BC and R is the midpoint of CR, CD and S is the midpoint of DA so therefore A, B, C, D is one of the quadrilateral in which P is the midpoint of AB, Q is the midpoint of BC R is the midpoint of CD and S is the midpoint of AD. So join these two midpoints. Then PQRS is a one of the quadrilateral. What we have to prove it? PQRS is a parallel. So first one we have to show that SR is parallel to AC. SR is parallel to AC and SR is equal to half of the AC, number one. Number two, SR is equal to PQ or PQ is equal to SR. And then third point, PQRS is a what parallelogram we want to put it. First of all, I will write the given. What they are given? ABCD is a quadrilateral, quadrilateral in which, in which, uh, P, Q, R and S are the midpoint of the midpoint of A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A respectively. Okay. Then A, C is a diagonal. Okay. A, C is a diagonal of quadrilateral. Then to prove what? Number one, SR is parallel to AC, SR is parallel to AC and SR is equal to half of the AC and SR is equal to half of the AC. Number two, PQ is equal to SR. Number three, PQRS is a parallel one. So these three points we want to show you. So next, the proof. Next here, yes and R, yes and R are the midpoint of AD and DC. That's why we have to take it as ABC. First we have to consider in triangle ADC. 
This is one of the triangle A, B, C because of A is the diagonal. Therefore, A, C, B are leading C one of the triangle. In that triangle, S and R are the midpoint of A, B and C, B. C, S and R are midpoint of midpoint of S is the midpoint of A, B. A, B and R is the midpoint of C, B. respectively. When S is the midpoint of AB and R is the midpoint of DC, in any triangle, the any two sides of the midpoints, the joining of any two sides of the midpoint, this line is parallel to third side. Therefore, can I write SR is parallel to AC by the condition of MPT? MPT means midpoint theorem. Therefore, SR is parallel to AC and also SR is equal to half of the AC. Can I write? Equation number one. See, S R is parallel to A C, and S R is equal to half of the A C. Call it as number one by the condition of M P T. M P T means what? Which one? Theorem. Shortcut. I will write it. So next one. Next one. In the triangle A B C, have to take it. In triangle A B C, in that C P is the midpoint of A B, Q is the midpoint of B C. Okay. P and Q are midpoint of or midpoints of what is that AB and BC, AB and BC respectively. Okay. Thanks to C students. In any triangle, again I will apply the BPT so that P and Q are the midpoint of AB and BC in the triangle ABC. Therefore, P Q is parallel to A C. Can I write? Therefore, P Q is parallel to A C, and also P Q is equal to half of the A C. Call it as number two. Again, by the condition of the M P T which point there. Now, from one and two, from one and two, we have to consider it. So, what will happen? C S R is parallel to A C, and S R P Q is parallel to A C. This is S R is parallel to A C, and S P Q is also parallel to A C. So both are parallel to AC. Therefore, SR PQ is parallel to SR. Can I write? Therefore, PQ is parallel to SR. PQ is parallel to SR because AC SR को parallel लगता है तो जब तक PQ को parallel लगता है तब तक PQ is also parallel to SR. And then SR is equal to half of the AC. PQ is equal to half of the AC. So the RHS are equal, cancel to each other. Therefore, PQ is equal to SR. And PQ is equal to Yes, sir. See, students, the first one, what, what we have to write? Yes, sir. Is yes, sir. Is parallel to A C, and yes, sir. Is equal to half of the A C. So I have to prove that yes, sir. Is equal to yes, sir. Is parallel to A C, and yes, sir. Is equal to half of the A C. First point is over. Right. Second point, see, P Q is equal to yes, sir. The second point is P Q is equal to yes, sir. That's why second point is also become over. Then third point, what is the third point? P Q R S is what? Parallel. Is it that P Q R S is a parallel one? That's why you want to prove it. In that, see students, P Q R S is the parallel one. Is it right? So P Q and parallel S R from three have to call it as number three. See P Q is parallel to S R and P Q is equal to S R in any quadrilateral. The one pair of sides, the one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. That means called as parallelogram. Therefore, from three. From three, therefore, A is a P Q R S is a parallelogram because in in what uh, opposite sides are equal and opposite sides are equal and parallel in a parallelogram. That's why P Q R S is a parallelogram. Are you understand? So this is the proof of the first question. So next second question. So I will go to the second question. I think this is third question in your textbook. Okay. The remaining questions are there in the three. In that exercise, you have to solve in your home. Okay. The three questions I show that. In the remaining questions, you have to solve in your home. Okay. 
So ABCD is a rectangle and B, Q, R and S are the midpoints of the sides AB, BC, CD and DA respectively show that whatever the PQRS is a rhombus. See very simple these like that only first questions as it is in the third questions in there. So I will show now. First of all, what? Yes. This is A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Is it right? A, B, C, D is a rectangle. P, Q, R, S are the midpoints of A, B, B, C, C, D and D. See, the midpoint, this is also one of the midpoint, midpoint, midpoint. So that is P is a midpoint of A, B, Q is the midpoint of B, C, R is the midpoint of C, D and S is the midpoint of A, D. Now you have to join it. Okay. They are not given in the uh, diagram. They are not given in the diagram. We have to create the diagram. C, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A respectively. They are the P, Q, R, S are the midpoint of A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A respectively. Show that quadrilateral P, Q, R, S is a rhombus. Okay. Let us start it. So first of all, I will draw the, uh, I will write the given. What are they given? A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Rectangle in which in which P, Q, R and S are midpoints of midpoints of what is that? A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A respectively. Okay. Now, to prove what we have to create, P, Q, R, S is a rhombus. In a rhombus, all sides are equal. So when you are showing the P, Q is equal to, Q, R is equal to, S, R is equal to P, S. Okay. Then it is become a, what? Rhombus. Otherwise, first of all, P, Q, R, S, we have to show that, what? Quadrilateral. Parallelogram. In a parallelogram, the adjacent sides, is it right? The adjacent sides are equal. When the adjacent sides are equal in a parallel rhomb, then it is become a rhombus. Is it right? That's why we have to prove it. P, Q, R, S is a parallel rhomb. First of all, P, Q, R, S is a parallel rhomb. First, we have to prove it. Afterwards, P, Q, R, any one of the adjacent sides. These two are the adjacent. This one and this one is the adjacent. This one, this one is the adjacent. For this one, this is the adjacent. Any one of the adjacent sides are equal. We have to if you are want to show that any one of the adjacent sides are equal, then it is become a rhombus. Okay? Yes. See, first to prove our, so small construction we have to do it. What will construction? Very simple. Join AC. So this AC we have to join it. Okay. Join AC. Therefore, now we have to prove what is called as proof. In that, see triangle ABC, I will consider it. In triangle ABC, in that P and Q are the midpoint of AB and BC, correct? P and Q are midpoint of midpoint of what is that? AB and BC respectively. AB and BC respectively okay now in any triangle the two sides of the midpoints if you join that side this line segment is parallel to the third side therefore pq is parallel to ac by the condition of pq is parallel to pq is parallel to ac and also pq is equal to half of the we see call it as number 1 from MPT. MPT means midpoint theorem. Okay. Next. Next. We have to consider that ADC triangle. In triangle ABC in that. So ADC triangle A, yes and R are the midpoint of BC and AD. AD correct? Okay. Yes and R are midpoints of 
with points of and what is that? Oh, yes, first one, AD and CD. AD and CD respectively. Okay. In that, we have to use this MPT. Yes, and are the midpoint of uh, AD and CD. Therefore, automatically yes sir is parallel to AC. Is it right? Yes sir is parallel to AC and yes sir is equal to half of the AC point of number two. Again, condition of MPT. Okay. Now, now see from one and two, one and two. See, PQ is parallel to AC and PQ, SR is equal to SR is parallel to AC. See, PQ is parallel to AC, SR is also parallel to AC. Automatically, PQ is, is parallel to SR. Can I write? PQ is parallel to SR and PQ is equal to half of the AC and SR is also half of the AC. Half of the AC, half of the AC get cancelled. Remaining PQ is equal to SR. Can I write? Same with previous question. PQ is equal to SR. So, parallel number 3. In any quadrilateral, the one pair of sides are opposite, uh, one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, then it is called as parallelogram. Therefore, therefore, from 3, from 3, PQRS is a parallelogram. But we want to prove it, PQRS is what? Rhombus. Yes. Yes. So PQRS is a rhombus. If you want to show that PQRS is a rhombus, in any in a rhombus, all sides are equal. Otherwise, the, in the parallelogram, adjacent sides, when the adjacent sides are equal in a parallelogram, the all sides are equal in the part in a parallelogram. Is it right? If you want to prove that PQRS is a parallelogram, first we have to prove that in a adjacent sides are equal. In one adjacent sides are equal. Any one adjacent sides are equal. If you want to prove it, then it is called as rhombus. See, first of all, okay. See, students. AD is equal to BC, is it right? AD is equal to BC because of ABC is a rectangle. In a, in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. That's why AD is equal to BC. Okay. Half, then we have to divide from 2. Half of the AD is equal to half of the BC. Okay. After that, half of the AD can be written as can I write AS? Okay, or SA. This is SA. SA is equal to half of the AD. This length is equal to half of the AD. Then, half of the BC. Half of the BC can write QB or BQ. Okay, so this is equation number 4. We have to call it as equation number 4. So, next student, we have to consider that APS and BPQ. These two triangles we have to consider it. When these two triangles are equal, congruent, if, if you want to prove that two triangles are congruent, automatically PS is equal to PQ. PS is equal to PQ. The, these two sides are adjacent sides. Is it right? So the adjacent sides are equal. Okay. Therefore, in triangle APS and triangle BPQ. Okay. So we have to consider it. Next, AS is equal to AS is equal to BQ. Can I write AS is equal to BQ because of from three, no, sorry, from four. Here we have to prove our point. Okay. AS is equal to BQ. And angle A is equal to angle B. Is it right? Angle A is equal to angle B because of it is equal to 90 degree. Because of ABC is a rectangle. That's why. Next, AP is equal to PB. AP is equal to BP because of P is a P is a midpoint of what AB midpoint of AB that's why right. AP is equal to BP. Okay, students, this is side, this is one of the angle, and AP is a side. Therefore, S A S condition is it right? Therefore, triangle AP S is congruent to triangle BPQ by the condition of the CAS rule. Okay. After that, when these two triangles are congruent, the remaining points are also become equal by the condition of what? CPCG. That's why SP is equal to PQ or PS is equal to SPN. 
Sp is equal to P Q. Sp is equal to P Q. Therefore, C P C. Okay, this is quantity number five. Now, sweat. See, P Q is equal to S R and P Q is equal to S P. See, this is S P and this is P Q. Sp is equal to Pq. Is it right? So the one pair of adjacent sides are equal. So one pair of adjacent sides are equal. If the adjacent sides are equal, then it is called as rhombus. Therefore, otherwise, so if you want to another method, see when you are considering first, you have to consider these equations. That's why Ps is equal to Sp. Afterwards, these two equations, these two triangles, you have to consider. Then these two triangles are congruent. Then it is called become P Q is equal to Q R. Otherwise, similarly, similarly, see if you are considering these two triangles. Okay, first two A P S and P B Q. If you are trying to consider one other, P S is equal to P Q R. Next, if you are trying to consider one other, if you are trying to consider one other, then you have to consider again congruent the two one other. After that, P Q is equal to S R. And then, then you have to consider these two triangles. After what? SR is equal to P PS. Then you know, if you are to consider these two triangles, SR is equal to PQ. This one P RQ is equal to SR. Like that. Similarly, so PQ is equal to QR. PQ is equal to QR. Order number six. Next, QR is equal to RS. QR is equal to RS. Order number seven. Q R is equal to R S, and then R S is equal to S P. R S is equal to R S is equal to S P. Got that number? Yeah. From from uh, five, six, seven, and eight. You have to consider that. See five S P is equal to P Q. P Q is equal to Q R. Q R is equal to R S. R S is equal to S P. Six squares. P Q P Q get cancelled. S P S P get cancelled. R S R S get cancelled. Q R Q R get cancelled. Therefore, all it is it, it is indicated that all sides are equal to each other. That's why that's why from how oh, okay. A B so, sorry S P is equal to yes sorry P Q is equal to Q R is equal to P Q is equal to Q R is equal to P Q is equal to Q R is equal to R S is equal to And then S P. So in any quadrilateral, all sides are equal. Then it is called as rhombus. Therefore, P Q R S is a rhombus. If they are asked, P Q R S is a square. You know, the P Q R S is a square. The proof of it is clear, right? But if all sides are all sides are equal, the proof of it is not clear. Just that, right? The all angles must be measured in 90 degree. But here, the rhombus, inner rhombus, all sides are equal. But each angles is not measured in here. Each angles is not measured in 90 degree. That's why the all sides are equal. Then it is called as rhombus. Are you understood? Yes. Next to it. Next fifth question. So what is the fifth question? The remaining questions you have to solve in your own. Okay. So in a parallelogram ABCD, E and F. Okay. E and F are the midpoints of sides AB and CD respectively. Show that the lines at point AF and EC trisect the diagonal BD. Okay. See first of all, I will draw the diagram. E and F. This is E and this is F. 
and the following point of view and cd join af and join cd okay this is p and this is q so what we have to put it e and in a parallel of abcd e and f are the midpoints of ab and cd so abcd is a what a parallelogram e is the midpoint of ab f is the midpoint of dc or cd uh, we want to show that the line segment af and ec so af and ec this line e is trisect the diagonal bd trisect the diagonal bd is nothing but pd sorry bq is equal to pq is equal to db that's why these three parts are equal to each other that one we want to prove it okay so let us stop it given given abcd is a parallelogram and e and f are midpoint of midpoint of what is ab and cd respectively ab and cd respectively next is try to prove what we have to prove it c a f and e c are divides the what so that the line segment a f and a e trisect the diagonal b d is nothing but b q is equal to p q is equal to q d or d p p d or d p anyone so therefore d p is equal to d p is equal to p q is equal to q o q b or b q anyone okay that's how you want to find so next proof in that see friends first of all e and f are the midpoint of what is that a b c uh, a b and c d okay in that a b is parallel to c d is it right a b is parallel to c d because of a b c d is what a b c d is a parallelogram in a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel that's why right. so we have to divide from two so half of the a b is parallel to half of the C D. See, half of the A B is nothing but tenor A E, A E, and half of the C D tenor A E. F C is parallel to F C. Therefore, A E is parallel to F C. Okay, A E is parallel to F C, and A E is equal to F C because because A E is the mid E is the midpoint of A B. That's why. A E is equal to and F is the midpoint of D C. Therefore, A E is equal to C F. Okay, students. So one point C A E is parallel to F C. A E is parallel to F C and A E is, is equal to F C. So in an, any quadrilateral, one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. Then it is called as parallel. Therefore, therefore, A E A E C F A E C F is a parallel. Okay. So first we have to show the prove that A E C A E C A E C F is a parallel. Then after that we have to consider that first. See first of all we consider A B P. Okay, in triangle. In triangle A B P. In that this friends A B P. Here E is the midpoint of A B. Correct. E is a midpoint of A B. Right? Okay. E is a midpoint of A B. Number one. Next, see. E Q is parallel to A P because A E C F is what? A E C F is a parallelogram. That's why A F is parallel to E C R. Okay? A P is parallel to E Q. अगर तो आता है ये A P is parallel to A P is parallel to what E Q because of A P C F is a parallel ground. Is parallel ground. That's why. Now, see students in any triangle, in any triangle, so one side of the midpoint is joining to the It is that this line is parallel to the third side. Then the third side, the remaining sides, is bisect each other. 
this is the converse of BP. Okay, that's why see E triangle A B P triangle E is another midpoint to E Q is parallel to P Q as a hag as a E midpoint to join madam tha opposite side E Q is intersect A B at P B at Q. Therefore Q is the midpoint of P B. So converse of M P. Therefore Q is a sorry P B is a P B is a bisect bisect it. P B is a bisect it. Therefore B is the Q is the midpoint of therefore Q is a midpoint of midpoint of what B P. Therefore therefore P Q is equal to B P. P Q it is equal to B Q. Call it a number one. Can I write? B P is equal P Q is equal to B Q. Okay, then next in triangle, in triangle. So again, first we have to consider A B P. Next B Q C. In triangle B B Q C. In that, in that, F is the midpoint of F is a midpoint of what C D. F is a midpoint of C D. And P F is parallel to. PF is parallel to what? QC. PF is parallel to QC. Okay. Because of because of AECF is a parallel. AECF is a parallel. That's why. Opposite sides of parallel. That's why. Then, see, F is a midpoint of DC and PF is parallel to QC. Therefore, P is the midpoint of DQ. Can I write? Direct I write P is a Midpoint of midpoint of B is a P is a midpoint of D Q because of this is converse of B P P. We are also going to write converse of so converse of M P not B P P converse of M P P because of midpoint there converse of midpoint there here also converse of converse of M P P midpoint there. Okay, C squared, P is a midpoint of DQ is nothing but C, DP is equal to PQ. DP is equal to PQ, call it as number 2. From 1 and 2, we have to consider it. From 1 and 2, what happened? C, PQ is, is equal to BQ and PQ is also DP. Therefore, therefore PQ is equal to so the DP, sorry, so DP is equal to PQ is equal to PQ is also parallel to BQ. I understood? So like this we want to prove it. Okay. Practice in your own. This definitely will come to the examinations. So among these, in this exercise, there are three, so six or seven questions is there. I will show the three questions only. The remaining questions you have to solve in your own. Okay, students. Okay. In this chapter will be completed. So this is the quadrilateral chapter will be completed. In the next classes, we have to discuss the construction of the triangles. Okay, thank you.